Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and, um, I thought I would, um, I thought I'd go ahead and do something that I haven't done in a very long time, but, uh, um, yesterday and today, I was streaming a Killer Instinct instead of Pinball, um, but the way it's kind of looking right now, I might be streaming Killer Instinct more often, but it's, it's still up in the air, um, tomorrow I might still be streaming Pinball, but on the chance that I don't, and that I decide to start playing this game more often. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm, this is, I'm mainly addressing um, people that check out my Final Fantasy XIV blog. Um, people that have probably never played this game before. Um, so mostly, mostly as a show of courtesy to those people. Because like I said, um, there's a chance that I might be playing this game more often. Which means I might be posting my uh, goings on in this blog so I don't want to leave anybody hanging I don't want to leave anybody in the dark so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, make kind of a kind of a tutorial video um, I'm gonna try to explain the basic stuff as best I can again so so I'm not uh, so I'm not leaving any of my readers behind so. um, and uh, another thing I do need to explain is um the the music choice that I'm gonna be playing during this video there is a it was almost like a quest for the Holy Grail but I'm not a I'm not a big fan of the in-game music I just don't care for it um but um one Killer Instinct it's kind of it's got kind of a metal a metal themed soundtrack which my, I which I might actually find uh, too distracting for what I'm wanting to do. Um, but fortunately, there was uh, one channel. One channel. Uh, it's called Cryo Chamber. They have a live stream. They live stream uh, dark ambient music. Which would have been freaking perfect for what I'm trying to do. Again, I'm just... I don't plan on doing any actual battles or anything like that. No actual fighting. Like I said, this is just basically a tutorial video. But unfortunately... Cryo Chamber, it's like a 50-50 chance that their music is copyrighted, which means I can't keep, I can't use them in my videos because I try to keep my videos ad-free. So that idea is out. And then um, I actually look, there was actually a, there was actually a brand spanking new video that came out, I think, either today or yesterday, which would actually would be more in keeping with the again with the metal theme of this game. Uh, but again, I'm this is a tutorial. I'm being mostly scholastic here. Just, again, trying to show people how the game works. So, it'll probably be a little too distracting. So, um, eventually, well, eventually I settled on, um, it's called Great Mercenary. Uh, first story of a young mercenary in Magical Tree. I think it came out like a few days ago. It's, um, really heavy piano theme. Um, and it's all, and... And also, I know that that stuff is, uh, it's not copyrighted. So, but it's a little, it's a little on the light side for this kind of game. But like I said, I'm just trying to explain the process. Like, I didn't just, I didn't just pick this game, I didn't just pick this music to piss anybody off or anything like that. It just, I'm kind of out of options. Um, if I was to look for any other kind of album on YouTube, I'd have to go through the whole arduous process of downloading it. And then re-uploading it to YouTube to do a copyright check. I had to do that for um, I had to do that for the Doom, for the Doom, uh, Doom Metal. But which, surprisingly, it all checked out. But anyway, um, but let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and get the music fired up. Oh, and I, and I did forget to sound check it. Still checking. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good at that level, cause with all the punches and hits and kicks and splats and pows and booms and bams and whatnot, um, I'm gonna kind of need to have the music. I'm gonna need to have the music fairly loud or fairly high up here. So let me uh, let me get rid of a few windows here. Um. And then I need to do one more thing. I 
totally forgot about this, so let me... Uh, I gotta do some moving around. Yeah, this, is, this is getting off to a bad start. Almost done. All right, there we go. Um, and this is this is also going to be one of the biggest reasons why I got into this game. Is the um, is the complete killer instinct guide? Like it is super comprehensive. It's a very good guide, and it's also a very popular one. Like, uh, a lot of players, and even tournament players out there will soar up and down on this. So, I might be referring to this from time to time. So. I should have had this album set to loop. Yes. Alright. So, let's get her started. So we're going to start off. And what I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I think it's here. So I'm just going to show them. Oh, and I, I forgot to mention too. Um, I probably say about, about six months ago, I actually did play this game for like a week or two. So I've already completed this tutorial. But again, I just wanna I just wanna show this again. Um show the basics. And yes, I do have combo assist turned on, which is also one of one of the other reasons why I like this game. It um it makes doing combos easier, but not super easy. So I mean you still gotta you still gotta put in some work in order to in order to pull them off. So anyway. Uh-oh, we have flickering. Need to get a new computer. See, you tap forward to dash, and you tap back twice to dash backwards. Forward. Overhead, mid, low. Just keep walking backwards. Now, I I think the game mentions it, but um, by default, um, yep, yeah, they say it here too. Um, because uh, crouch blocking will also block mid attacks. He, if you're um. If you're if you're gonna say turtle up for example then just crouch block by default the only time you want to stand block is when an over is when they're doing an overhead attack on you Um, normally, 
overhead attacks are slower. But uh, if you've got slow reflexes like I do, it it doesn't matter as much. Again, if, I'm probably the kind of person that would turtle up. Like I said, I'm I'm very I got slow reactions, so by default, just crouch block. Yeah, um, I'm using a PlayStation controller, so yeah, my light attack is square, medium pu or light punch is uh, square, medium punch is uh, triangle, heavy punch is uh, uh, RB or R1, I mean. So. Kicks work the same way. Light kick is the uh, X button. Medium kick is the circle, circle button. And heavy is R2. Fair amount of characters have this too. Crouch and um, heavy punch. They do like an uppercut attack that's good against uh, jumping opponents. Like I said, um, in fact, before I continue on, um, let me, um, let me go ahead and post up how a combo assist works. So, let me, um, let me go to the page. Alright, I'm gonna, I might have to embiggen this some so you can, uh, see it easier. So, the big one is, is your, you can do combos without having to do any motion inputs. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is just simply hold forward. And, um, Yep. 
yeah, see, like I said, this is one of the reasons why I like this game. Um, combo assist makes it easier for you, but not too easy. Um, when I played, um, uh, when I was playing Guilty Gear Rev 2, um, if you started, if you started a combo, for whatever reason, you were locked into that combo. No matter what button you hit, what, or let me rephrase that, every button you hit continued on that one single combo. You couldn't deviate from it in any way. Not in this game. So you can you can still do uh, motion input specials outside of using combos. So it doesn't lock that off for you. And you can you don't and um I think what the game's trying to say here too is uh kinda like Rev 2. There is a the uh, there is a specific um, set of buttons in each uh, or each combo in this game that uses combo assist is pre-programmed just like Rev 2 but you don't have to follow that pre-programmed route you can deviate from it you can um you can do other you can do, use other moves in that particular combo so and he says it here too I mean if you still want to do a let's say a Hadouken or or a, or a dragon punch or something, you still got you still got to do the motion input, even if you have combos just turned on. Like I said, all this does is assist you in your combos, but not in other special moves. Yeah, see, this is this is one of my issues too. Players who struggle to do fast quarter circle commands. Um, Plus, uh, controllers are expensive. I think I had to pay like over 70 bucks for mine, so I don't need to mangle that any more than necessary. And especially now, um, I said this to my, uh, one of my recent cast, my, one of my recent cast videos. Um, my hands are starting to hurt. Like, at the end of maybe even a work day or a work week, my, uh, my thumbs and the meat of my thumb are now pretty tender by the end of the day, so. And I can kind of feel it a little bit whenever I do uh, motion inputs on my controller, so. Okay, I don't know what a lot of this stuff means. Um, and there's a uh, auto double and linker. It gets a bit rocket sciencey, so I'll I'll just go ahead and move along. But basically, an opener for a combo is one that requires you to have to do a special move, like again, the aforementioned motion input special. So now the the the, uh, the control requirements that it's given you now, this is based on me having a combo assist turned on. So, you only have to... All you have to do is land a hit, and then hold forward, and then hit some other button, and you'll get a combo going. But you don't have to. Like, you go... Like that. See, I just held forward, but you can also... Like I just did there. I did the full down to back kick. Same thing. So like I said, you, you don't have to you don't have to just kick and then hold forward. So once again to kind of reiterate, um despite the fact that combo assist is turned on. You don't have you don't have to use it like what I just demonstrated there. You can still do 
the normal the normal kick motion, the normal motion input, and it'll still work. So Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. I'm not even, excuse me, I'm not even going to open with just a medium kick. Okay, so, alright, something bug, that was a problem I had too. Um, parts of this tutorial is kind of buggy. Despite the fact that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing in that, um, combo sequence, it's still ain't, it, it doesn't register. Yeah. And then to end the combo, it's kind of what they said here, um, you have to do a... You have to use a, a heavy attack. Again, it got a little buggy there. Again, that's a tutorial bug. Okay, so in the lower left corner of the screen, you'll see it. Um, you see a shadow meter. Uh, you just, it kind of works like a, like super meters work like on Street Fighter and stuff like that. Just keep connecting with the tax and you'll build it up. Um, and I forgot, and a while back, I forgot to mention this about dash moves, dashing forward, dashing back. Um, excuse me. Different characters have different types of dashes. Um, some of them don't even have dashes at all. Some actually teleport. But again, it, it varies on which character you're playing. So. Shadow Meter works the same way. Um, I think uh, what Jago has here, he's going to have a... He's just gonna have a super powerful version of a movie he already has. But uh, other other characters, they're gonna have uh, different things happen to them um, with their uh, with their shadow shadow meter. Okay, now something else here too. Um, you either pre yeah, press two punches or two kicks, or um, on my controller, there is actually a macro. Um, there's a uh, L1 and L2 are macro to, I think L1 is uh, hitting all three punch buttons at the same time. L2 is pushing all three kick buttons at the same time. So you could just do those instead. Uh, technically I did that. Technically, that went off. Like I, like I said, um, there's uh, there's some bugs in these tutorials. Like you have to follow exactly the way it shows in the uh, lower left corner.
Okay, I see why. They were talking about uh, using shadow attacks outside of a combo. I guess I wasn't paying attention. But even, even then, all you gotta do is hit either L1 or L2. So... that but again I do I use the um I use L L1 and L2 for shadow moves as well. I find it easier to press that than it would be to push two punches and two or two kicks at the same time. So Also, I forgot to mention this at the start of the tutorial, but I kind of wish you could uh, choose other characters for these. I'm not a fan of Jago. I just don't don't care for him. Um, I wish you could go in with like other characters, characters that I actually like playing. So, okay, here we go. Command attacks. Um, like I've been talking about earlier, um, her combo assist, it, it, it removes these requirements to pull them off. I used named um, Agonos, I think. He kind of has that as well. He, his uh, his forward heavy kick moves him forward. It's called a war stomp. But uh, these are things that I was already doing when I was uh, streaming this. When I was streaming this game, if he's blocking, if he's blocking high, start attacking low. If he starts blocking low, attack high or overhead. I mean. Okay, and, um, and again, some other characters have different prop, different uh, throw properties too. So, um, some of them are comboable. Um, I think uh, Chief Thunder comes to mind. He's the uh, He's a grappler character. He got uh, I think he got a uh, combo off throws. And then same same thing except right when you start throwing them, move backwards. Okay, I guess you have to move. Okay, yep. Okay, I don't get that one.
Okay. And that's a... I don't, I don't think they mention it here, but that's another legit tactic, especially against other players. It's called an empty jump. It's where you jump forward and do nothing. Like, no kick, no punch, no nothing. It's a... It's a pretty common tactic. Yeah, he's got a really wonky kick. I don't know this is what um if you're looking down down the lower left motion inputs I have to go from down to forward and then hit a hit a punch button it, it has to be in one motion now so I don't think this game has it but I've played other games uh Guilty Gear Rev 2 you're mangling the shit out of your controller to get some of the moves off Here's the ones I don't like. If your reflexes are fast enough, like I said, I know it's common. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bail out of the tutorial. And uh, I gotta. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour. I know. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're we're starting to get more and more into like combo trials here because they get a. Uh, yeah, they get pretty complicated. Yeah, so that was lessons one through eight. So, um, but I'm not gonna use uh, I'm not gonna use Jago.
So, I'll go ahead and, um, I'll go ahead and do a fight. Welcome. But, um, let's see, who should I do? Okay, I'll go ahead and do what I do when I stream this game. I'll just pick one at random. And hope I get a good one. Cool. Riptor is one of the easier ones. See on the left there, those are the moves he has. Um, I'm gonna take a drink real quick. And again, um, you don't, yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. Again, you don't have you don't have to rely on this. That was a button read. All right, now, now that you heard danger, um, I can try to perform a, I have to get a combo on him, or I have to start a combo, but then, um, then I have to hit either L1 or I can't remember which one. It was either L1 or L2. I don't think it'll show. Punch. And then this part here. Um, as long as my health is high enough, if I push both uh, light punch and light kick, he'll do basically a fatality. Like that. And keep me warm by the fire. Ultimate. 
And um, and you get X, you get XP for completing battles. So. Oh shoot! I'm gonna. Okay, so, um, otherwise that's gonna do it. Um, I think I've explained all the stuff that I needed to explain, so, hope you guys found this video helpful, um, if, if a bit long, so, but, otherwise, um, thanks for watching everybody, I appreciate it, uh, take care and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.